All right, what's up guys? It's Hawk with Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got a new 410 load to put on paper, so stay tuned. We got Lights Out Ammo, a new company that reached out to us. We got a three inch, one ounce of nines, traveling at 10, 50 feet per second. So now there's three one ounce loads on the mark. Yes. All of which are half price compared to the one. And I got the TriStar G2 Viper 410 with the Holosun. And the choke we're going to be using is a Kix Goblin Thunder. It's a 385 constriction. And the cool part about this right now is a couple weeks ago, Jake took the battery out of this Holosun. And when I put it up, the solar fail safe is working right now in the light. I'm not sure if it would work when the turkey woods gets dark, but right now there's no battery in this hollow sun and there's a red dot on there. So that's pretty cool. And it's bright. It is bright. And so that's auto adjusting. That's pretty badass, not gonna lie, but that's not why we're here. Just a fun plug. <laughs> <laughs> but we're at 40 yards. We're gonna shoot that peacock down there. Okay, now I'm gonna say while he does this, you can see already there are hits above on the other backer. We have those X'd out. Now you can't now you can see. So uh, just so you know, anything over that, if it's circled, it is a hit in this test. I cut this backer a little shorter just because well I was thinking it was gonna be for a 410, which it worked out, so you don't need that giant backer 90% of the time in 410s. Unless it's moose to Stevens. All right, guys, we got the TriStar G2 Viper. We got the Kix Goblin Thunder 385 Constriction, and we got Lights Out Ammo. One ounce of nines, and uh, we're going to shoot that peacock down there. We're at 40 yards, like always. What the hell was that? The shell of the... Oh. I thought that was shot. That's what I thought for a minute. Yeah, it's a, it's a TriStar is what it is. All right, let's see what that load did. I can't even tell. Not for me. No, I could barely tell because I got sidetracked by your shell hitting the bog pod. All right, guys, that was the TriStar G2 Viper 410 with the Kix Goblin Thunder, a 385 constriction with lights out ammo, uh, an ounce of straight nines. And at 40 yards, I mean, as you can see here, I'm not centered at all, but I still killed the turkey. I got four in the brain. But overall, the pattern's not horrible at 40 yards, not at all. I mean, you got a lot, you got quite a bit of shot right here. I mean, I think with a different choke, I'd condense down a lot of these flyers that we have. There's flyers down here, flyers over here. But... If that was centered, that would hammer this turkey at 40 yards. Just got to condense a lot of these flyers down. I think choke, choke it down a little bit. It's not a bad pattern at all. No, if really. it was centered, it, it's got a lot in the core. But yeah. At 40 yards, it's not a bad 410 pattern at all. You got some shot here. I mean, that would if this was centered up, this turkey would be smoked. I mean... That's a pretty good pattern. I'd like to choke it down just a little bit to see what it can do, but we can do that another time. But for a first showing of that one ounce of nines, it's not bad at all. Yeah, there's literally just this though. Yeah, I'm thinking, I don't know if you'd want to choke it down or try. Well, I guess we're gonna try everything either way, but. We got quite a bit of flyers, but. Yeah. It's not a blown out pattern. It's just no, open, it's, so yeah. Like, we could try like a 380. The core is pretty, I mean, it's pretty, core is nice, but outside the core, it's just. Open. It's just different, yeah. Well, we got a lot of learning to do that load, so. We only got five shells, that's the downfall. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not a bad pattern at all. I mean, kill them I think 30 and 20 yards, that's going to we'll condense go down more, and it's going to wreck that turkey. All right, guys, that was the one ounce load from Lights Out Ammo with the TriStar G2 Viper Kix Goblin Thunder. And that's not a bad showing at all for 40 yards with a 410. That will kill you birds all day long. I'd like to see that load in different chokes, different guns, and see what it can do. We got a lot more tests to do with that load. 
Um, Same with that choke, because that's the first one. First yeah, that's, a, that's the first. Yeah, it's the first time pattern that kicks out of a mobile choke. But not a bad first shot. I mean, that's pretty. That'll kill your birds all day long. I will do a better job. I'll get that more centered up, hopefully here. But well, you're not zeroed to that load or choke, because I will say the Viper one ounce when I zero to it, everything else is way off. Yeah, the one ounce and four ten is completely different. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, make sure you like. We got a lot of content hitting the channel right now, all the way into April. We got a couple new guns on the channel, so becoming a member would be very beneficial to you and us. You get to check out all the new videos, well into. April or whatever get to check out the new guns that are going to be hitting the channel So it's really beneficial to you to check those out yeah, But seeing them early is huge because we got a lot of content hitting the channel. I think we're gonna go to two videos a day here soon, I mean we got a lot of stuff to pattern and Not a lot of time to get it done because we work Monday through Friday, but We're gonna do our best to get a bunch of videos out for you, but we got more to film, so I'm going to catch you on the next one.